I'm a shotgun rider Cruise through the country, maybe pulling all night Every little body needs a glide decider Come on, baby, be my shotgun rider All right, uh, here we are uh, coming to you from the Dominican Republic. I told you we were going to be down here. You got a little camp action going on. With, uh, where are we, Jeff? Rangers Academy. This is Jeff Disk, and he's my... Uh, He's the man. I was going to say right-hand man, but he's the man <laughs> running this uh, here little venture. And we're taking on a uh, little action today, do a little camp format in the morning. Going to do a little inner squad here right now with the fellows. But as you can see in the background, we got got some guys getting loose and, and uh, some other guys here. And what is this exactly where we are right here, Jeff? This is the lowest level of professional baseball for uh, all professional teams. We're at the Rangers today. These guys are uh, the Dominican League is signed at 16, so most of these players are 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. Oh, and, and they stay here all year round, here. and awesome that they're letting us use their complex oh, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. All right, coming to you this week, uh, Skip Scoop, we're winding down. Uh, I can't remember exactly where we are, but a uh, nice little yard right here. Doing a good job of taking care of it. There's our opposition today. Uh, got some uh, sweet... Uh, Sweet dugouts, do a little mountain prep. But a nice little area right here. As you can see, long trip getting back and into the office, but one of the neatest parts about that Dominican trip, and you can see here with, you get a wide variety of baseball culture there. This was one of my favorite pieces here, the sugar cane fields uh, that we actually go to and venture into, and you can see the grass conditions there. Actually had a ball lost, the ball was hit out and it was lost, and hands up, ground rule double, but Bill Thomas wouldn't have anything to do with that. No, Bill Thomas, that would not be a Bill Thomas stamp <laughs> field right there. And then, uh, you know, and this, and why this is all relevant is, you know, we keep mentioning we're going to take our team back to the Dominican Republic over uh, Thanksgiving break this fall. And here's a nice little shot at the hotel the guys will be staying. And you can see it's a nice, you know, it's a nice place now. One thing I didn't have, Kyle didn't have hot water. Uh, I keep, forget, yeah, keep forgetting it's a third world country, but still a, a nice place for our guys to go. And, and what the other part is, is really to see what it's like baseball in Dominican. Check out some of the, the workouts here on the beach, and, and you can see me there with, uh, um, with, with our kids, and then also some of the Dominican kids running through their drills. Just goes to show, even uh, no matter what your environment is, you can still get better with the baseball. And, and in fact, it's for me, it, it, it's, it's just refreshing because you don't need the multi- hundred dollar equipment to get stuff done those guys are pretty accomplished baseball players but yeah you can see by the tools and, and exercise equipment they use they make do with what they have and skip i stopped by your office today and you let me look through your pictures and stuff and i, I gotta bust your chops about one picture uh, can you go anywhere with, and not take your shirt off is it, is it possible i mean look uh, at this it was hot it was hot and you know what you putting that on there Poor is gonna, Jamie, we're gonna catch it. no we're gonna catch more <laughs> flack like we did the the <laughs> The one spring break picture a long time ago, so, uh, but whatever, it was hot. Hey, you know, I guess I'll let you go. Dominican, not your only destination in the last couple of weeks, out in uh, the East Coast as well. Yeah, I had a chance to visit uh, Yankee Stadium for the first time. You can see here, sporting my IU gear there, and had a great time. Uh, started raining, actually. You know, I hadn't seen rain in a long time. It started raining, so we had to leave early, but I believe the Yankees, they, they beat up on the Orioles that day. But first time in Yankee Stadium, it's one of those bucket list things you got to do. And had a great time and, and uh, really enjoyed ourselves. Always nice to get a little crimson in the Yankee Stadium as well. It's always nice. Yep. Got some pictures of the week? Uh, pictures of the week, yes. The first picture here, this comes from, again, I, I think he's loving it, former uh, IU basketball Richard Mandeville with the little Mandeville off to the side. I don't know where his IU gear is there, but... You can see Big Rich stretching out there at home with his, you know, that's all six foot ten-ish of him stretching out in the IU baseball gear. I still tell him he would have been a heck of a pitcher at Indiana University. And then, you know what? Skip Scoop fans got to see my guns on the boat, Kyle. <laughs> How about Ross Dickerson and his guns in this picture? And we're not referring to Ross's guns. We're referring to uh, the USS Alabama. You can see there Ross, and I always love his pictures. We get the military pictures all the time. And uh, look at him there standing in front of the USS Alabama. Skip, we got some questions as well. I think this More must, comments, maybe. Well, I was going to say, this must be the week of harassing uh, Skip here. Uh, so it's July, whatever. Uh, I went to the IU Hoosier homepage, and I see Coach Smith with a new scoop update. But is he really donning a gold and black suit? 
and I didn't even know. That comes from Sly. Sly, we don't know where you're from, but that's good. I didn't even notice that myself. What was I doing? What was I thinking? I believe that was at the award show a couple weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago at this point. I, I thought it looked See, good, but the black and gold... See, I've got, bad respect. I've got respect for Purdue. I wore, their, I wore a suit for them. I, but I didn't notice that until you pointed that out, Sly. Thanks. Uh, oh, this was classic. Vinny from Long Island. Uh, saw where uh, our guys are having some success in the Cape Cod League. Could you comment on that? Well, um, I mean, first of all, we've got guys placed all over the country. We've had guys having all kinds of success. Kyle, we were running that down a little bit earlier. We've got all-stars. We've got... Trace Novel, no hitters. All Star, Brian Court. How about Harrison throwing another Luke hitter? Luke Harrison throwing another no hitter. His team in hitting. But I think we just saw what we see recently. Sam Travis. Sam Travis, second in the entire Cape Cod in batting average. Six, Kyle Schwarber, and the Big Ten, a Michigan guy at the top of the list. So, so we how got about two, that? Three of the top six from the Big Ten, and two of them are Hoosiers. That's awesome. So, yeah, you know, thanks, uh, Benny, for pointing that out. But again, people can go and see the, the summer stats if you go right there on the website. And as always, Kyle rolls it right across the bottom there. Check that out. I'm sure he matched it up with my hand, too. But, uh, you know, and I think what people want to see, though, Kyle, before we get out of here is why don't you make a trek over to the new uh, Kaufman Field site, get some video, and post that on there because I'm getting tons of questions as I venture out across the United States about the new baseball facility. Let's get before we show the video. we got to talk about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice, and then people will see here in a second. There is some cement pour. There, you're starting to see a bit of a bowl shape. Yep, you can see the shape of the field. Now, I actually got out and walked in what would be the office, the locker room, and all of those things. And, and you're over the next few months, you're really going to see this thing come up and and it's right off there off the bypass, so if you roll into Bloomington, all that construction going on on the north side there is you're right there by the bypass. That is the new baseball facility, and softball is off to the east of that. Uh, hey, Kyle, as promised, we said we'd get out here on the site, but if we can't get on the site, be all official without our nice vest and helmet here. We're standing here approximately our home plate. I'm looking towards center field. If you look over here, they've got the first base dugout done. You look at the right field line. They've also got the outfield wall, and you can see there's going to be a berm in right field. As you taper towards center field, it's going to be come down uh, back to natural land with some fence. And just keep on going with the camera there, Kyle. And we'll go walk down. You see left field looking out towards the bypass. We've got our big uh, building down here in the left field. It's going to have our indoor cages, our offices, locker room, players' lounge, umpires' room, you name it. And again, finishing up back here in our third base dugout. But what I want to do now is let's uh, let's take a, a little look at the uh, building down here, if we will. Let's go. Let's go. And Kyle, here's the. What do you got? Look, we got stuff going on right here. We're just getting after. We got deadlines to meet, Kyle. We got deadlines. But what you're looking at here, they just poured the concrete floors and the facilities, so the structure is going to start going up now and uh, really start to take shape. As you can see, main entrance closet. You got uh, umpires locker room here. Coaches office going to be the locker room right here, quite a facility. You can get an idea of the size by looking at me. 